story about that man that tried to drown me, how that affected me. But I have to let it go. I have to let it go. I can't live there no more, and I'm not going to live there. Um, I'm living in the presence of God and his anointing for my life now, the abundant life. You know, when we turn to God and surrender everything in the past to him, we have perfect peace. Mm -hmm. That's a covenant promise. He will give you peace and joy. Good stuff. Let us lay aside every weight. Weights that might produce sickness in our bodies. Yes, there is weights that can do that. Guilt from sin or failure. I've been there. Yeah. Greater is he that's in me. I'm an overcomer. I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. Grief. I've been there of a lost one, grieving and mourning. I've been there. Depression. Mm. Depression is not of God because God promises us a sound mind. So if you ever minister to someone who's dealing with depression, minister the word of life to them. Really? Because Jesus promises a sound mind. Mm hmm. Sickness. No, no, no. We dealt with stress. Fear. I've dealt with fear. So have you, Donna. I think we all have at one point. But we overcome the fear. How? Somebody know the word? Does anybody know the word? We overcome fear by the blood of the Lamb, the perfect love of God that's in you, the fruit of the Spirit is how we overcome fear. That is the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace. Those are fruits of the Spirit. Hallelujah. That's how we overcome fear. Rely on the promises of God and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Broken relationships. I think we've all dealt with broken relationships in our life. Oh, yes, we have. But do we live in the past? Every relationship I've ever been in with that was broken or caused bruise or damage, you know what I say? Father, I release them. I release them, and I don't want to hang on to that no more. I don't want that in my life. I don't want anything, anything to hinder me in our relationship by allowing the devil to come in and, and allow these things of the past to rise up in me. I don't want that. I don't think anybody wants that. But we got to say no. Uh, broken relationships, divorce, rejection by children. As a parent, that's one of the hardest ones. But greater is he that is in us. We can overcome. And we can believe God for a restoration because it's in the word that he'll restore the children back to the fathers. And the fathers back to the children, yeah. Betrayal of friends. I've touched on that earlier. I think we've all dealt with that. All these things I'm talking about, I have lived and experienced in the 66 years of my life. I'm not giving up the fight. I'm in this race to win. I'm in the win, this race to run a race that is set before me and receive the prize, a crown that's waiting on me to, when I finish this race. And then I'm going to take that crown and I'm going to lay it at Jesus' feet. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen? Hallelujah. 
This is where I want to go in this week, and I'm going to close within this series. Until the joy of the Lord is our strength and our minds are stayed on him, we will be candidates for sickness. Amen. Think about that. Nehemiah 8.10, the joy of the Lord is our strength. How does he steal your strength? By us hanging on to the past. We got to let everything go. Every hurt, every wound, every rejection, every broken relationship. You got to lay it down and say, I'm not carrying this no more. You want to be set free? Believe me, brothers, sisters, God is my witness. I am free. And there is nothing more satisfying to know that you are free. I'm free from everything of the past life. I'm pressing on toward that prize. That's right. To know my Lord Jesus. That's right. Amen. Amen. Ooh. Is this ministering to anybody today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm going to make it through this. Hallelujah. What we focus on in our lives influences our physical well-being. What are we focusing on? I went to the races last night. Oh, I, don't, I go twice a year. And I'm sitting there enjoying myself. It was nice, cold, but it was a nice night. And I had this big speaker, about twice that size, right in front of me. Ah, they started playing this music. I thought, I haven't heard a radio, music on the radio for two or three years. I thought, dude, who is listening to this stuff? You know what the Lord reminded me of Satan? He was a worshiper. And I think he's bringing people into captivity through some of these secular songs that people are listening to today. I'm listening to this song. I thought, Lord, I, I'm not, I don't want to hear this. But you know what I did? I said, the blood of Jesus over my mind. And I just start praying in tongues. Because I know my weapons are not carnal. They are power. And pulling down the stronghold of the devil. And I thought, Lord, I don't want to listen to this. I don't want this to be influencing my thinking. Because how many of you ever listen to a secular song? Then you leave and you go home and then you start humming it. Hmm. Think about that. That's an open door. That's right. I'm not giving place to that. I'm not against music, don't get me wrong. If it's decent, good, and it's, I have no problem with music. I'm not trying to put anyone in bondage. I'm just saying this particular song I heard, no way. Not receiving that. So what we focus on can affect our physical health. So if I'm listening to the wrong music, I think sometimes that can affect us emotionally, mentally, and physically. I think it can affect our healing from God as well. That's just me. Let's go to uh, Philippians 4.8. But I, before we do that, I want to go back to verse 6. Be careful or be anxious for nothing because anxiety is the beginning of depression. You hear me there? Be anxious for nothing. Before I do anything, I pray about it. 
And this is how I determine if it's of God or if I don't do it. If I don't have a peace, I'm not doing it. Even if it's the best deal there is, I'm not doing it. When we pray, don't give place to anxiety because it opens the door to depression. Because then we get discouraged. Then we lose our joy and we allow the enemy to come in and cause havoc in our life. And that affects our lives as Christians. I'm not doing it. Amen. <sighs> Glory to God. I love Jesus. Thank you. I thank you, Jesus, for your word. I thank you, Lord God, that it, your word is what changes us to your image. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Thanksgiving is an act of faith. And it's our faith in action. It really is. I don't care what I face, I'm always going to thank God. I did a teaching here, oh, about seven months ago, how to stay full of God. And the number one key is thank God always. I know it's hard to say, Lord, thank you. But I thank you, Lord, but I... No, I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank Jesus because that's your faith in action. Because if you're speaking it by faith, you know, you know, you know, you know you got it. Amen? Amen. Good stuff. Verse 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, he will keep you in perfect peace in your mind. I received that word. It stayed upon him. The peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep you your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever thing is true, whatsoever thing is honest, whatsoever thing is just, whatsoever thing is pure, whatsoever thing is lovely, whatsoever thing is good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. What we think on is where we're going to go. I daily think on the kingdom of God every day. There's times that, Jeremy, I don't even want to go fishing because I want to think on Jesus. But you know, I discovered I can still go fishing and think about Jesus too. Because why? I'm a kingdom minded person. Not the past life or the flesh life. I'm a kingdom minded person. That's what we all are. Um, learned and re let me go back. Verse 9. And these things which you both learned and received and heard and seen in my life do and the God of peace shall be with you. Think on these things. The God of peace is with every one of us in this room. We can walk in peace. Yeah. Are we walking in peace today? Amen. Amen. We walking in the joy of the Lord. We walking in the abundant life. We walking in prosperity. Are we walking in the relationship with Jesus? Yeah. Think on these things. Right. Hallelujah. How to deal with past? How do we deal with the past and how it will influence our physical well being? Philippians 3.13. Brother, I count myself 
to have apprehended, but this one thing I do forget, those things which are behind me, and reaching forth those things which are before me. We sing a song, Christ before me, the world behind me. Remember that song? That's all I know of, but I remember we used to sing that. Think on the things that's before us. Our daily relationship with God will influence our physical well-being. Matthews 4.4 4. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's what I'm after. The word of God. That's what I'm after. That's what I hunger for is the word of God. The joy of the Lord is our strength, Nehemiah 8.10. I got a scripture here. Every time I read this, something in me just jumps. It's awesome about the joy of the Lord. It's in Isaiah 61.3. Everybody listening to this? To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Oil for joy. For the mourning. The garments of praise. For the spirit of heaviness. They might be called trees of righteousness. Planted of the Lord that he might be glorified. Isn't that verse powerful? To me, that's a verse that God can turn everything around in our life for his good and his purpose. And we'd be like a tree that cannot be shaken right. for his glory. Isn't that awesome? That's a good word. Hallelujah. Binding up the brokenhearted. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I'm going to just read some scriptures here. Four more scriptures and we're done. Isaiah 35, 10. And the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. And they shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away do you know that all the promises of God are yes and amen? This is the relationship of God, God's heart for you and me. Mm. All the promises of God are yes and amen. This is the relationship with God for you. So in spite of this context, in the popular Revelation of God's heart for you. The antidote for whatever you are going through is the joy of the Lord, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. And so we can choose joy. Do you realize we can choose? Joy. I choose the joy of the Lord. Yes. Me too. Well, let's all say it corporately. I choose the joy of the Lord. And he is my strength. And I'm not allowing the enemy to steal it. Repeat it. I'm not allowing the enemy to steal it. He has no authority. That's right, no authority. He cannot take what God has given me, God has given me. unless I give it to him. He has no authority. That's right. mm. Praise God. Good stuff. <sighs> Ezekiel 
3.17. The Lord God in the midst of thee is mighty. In our midst, he is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. You know, God is singing over us and rejoicing over us and watching over us. And he will never stop doing that. So in closing, remember, God has healed every wound of your past. Well, let's just say this with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, any wounds of my past, I just lay it down today at your feet. I am free from the past. And I say I press on toward this prize. Of this calling. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We made it through that session. either next week or the following. I have another message. It's entitled, Healing and Righteousness. I'll just give a little recap on this. If we know we have right standing with God, if we know we're in righteousness with God, do you realize that's the foundation of our Christian walk? Knowing that we are the righteousness of God. Ooh, there's healing in knowing our righteousness in God. Right. Jeremy. Hey, I'm calling him Pastor Jeremy. Is that okay? Yeah. You want to close us out, brother? Sure. Lord, we just thank you for this afternoon. Lord, I just pray that we would just go changed. Lord, I ask that you would just help us to just reject the fear and the, the doubts and maybe even places in the past where we allowed ourselves to doubt that you are strong and you're able and you desire to change, Lord. I pray that you would just help us to, to leave changed, that our minds would be refreshed and renewed, Lord. And, and I just ask that we would just hold on to um, the words that were spoken this afternoon, Lord. Help us to just have a great week and um, just to come with um, energy and excitement for next week, Lord God. We thank, we thank you for what you did today. We ask this in your name. Amen.